Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today is our lecture is on chapter number 4. Chapter 4 means is the rate of a change of variable. Rate of change of a displacement, we know that it is a velocity. Since a body moving in a straight line covers a distance x, that is from O to A, and so discovering a distance that is a x over here in a time t, so that A is its position at the at the end t and after a little longer time t plus delta t its position is b so that o b that is equal to x plus small change in displacement that is a delta x since a b equal to delta of x is the distance moved by the body in a small time delta t thus average velocity of the body in this interval delta t is given by delta x by delta t if delta t approaches to zero b will approach a if delta t approaches to zero the time that small interval of time approaches to zero it means b will approach to a and the interval a b will become indefinitely small in this case since you know the limit that the delta t approaches to zero that is delta of x by delta of t will give the velocity of the body at a hence we can say that velocity at a is the limit of delta t approaches to delta x by delta t that is the dx by dt so we can say that velocity at a is dx by dt our second thing is the acceleration uh, in fact the student has already said that in the following chapters that uh, dx by dt is the rate of change of x respect to change in time and that exactly is the definition of the velocity thus if we have the relation between displacement x and time t given by the equation that is our x equal to function of t then the velocity is given by v equal to dx by dt as we have studied earlier in a similar way the acceleration is denoted by a that is a we have a uh, we have acceleration that is a dv by dt that acceleration is the rate of a change of velocity with regard to change in time also we can say that that is acceleration equal to dv by dx and if we apply the uh, chain rule over here that is a d by dx and dx by dt then it is a double derivative of the displacement that is a double derivative of time now we have exercise 4.1 that is a uh, we have question number one uh, the question number one is the distance x meters moved by a point in t second is given by x equal to t cube plus 3t square plus 4 so we have to find the velocity and acceleration after three seconds so we have to solve this question so so now we are going to solve this question question number one of exercise 4.1 that is a, that is a, as I, I showed you earlier so now here we have x equal to t q plus t t square plus 4 and we know that the time is given here that is 3 seconds and we have to find velocity and acceleration for velocity v we know that we have a velocity equal to rate of change of displacement dx by dt and but we know that our x is equal to t cube plus 3t square plus 4 we are putting this over here and now we are applying the derivative so uh, we are applying the derivative of t cube that is we know that by the power rule we know the power rule that is a uh, uh, 3t square t cube derivative of t cube we know that by power rule is 3t square derivative of t square is 2t and what is the derivative of constant as you know that is a 0 derivative of constant term is 0 so now after simplifying we have velocity that is a 3t square plus 60 we are naming this equation as equation number 1 this is our, our equation number 1 since we have to find velocity after 3 seconds so we are putting t equal to 3 in this equation number 1 so put 3 over here and over here so when we put here 3 square is 9 and 3 multiply 6 is 18 so that's why we can write at 27 plus 18 is you know is 45 meter per seconds all right now for acceleration we have to find the acceleration also so we know that acceleration is dv by dt so we know the velocity from the equation number one is 3t square plus 60 so we know that uh, the derivative of t square is 2t and derivative of t is 1 that's why our acceleration is 60 plus 6 
so we are putting t equal to 3 seconds in equation number 2 and uh, 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 plus 6 if we know it's 24 meter per second square so we can write that velocity after 3 second is 45 meter per second and acceleration after 3 second is 24 per meter in second square now we have question number 2 Question number two is the we have a given velocity v meter per second of point in a straight line we have this velocity we have to find the acceleration after two seconds in this question we have t is two and the acceleration we have to find the derivative of this one time and after differentiating we will put t equal to two in this question you have to solve it at your home in the question number three I look at the question number 3, the question 3 is the velocity v meter per second of a point moving along a straight line is given by v that is a 4 minus t square where t is the time in seconds. So we have to find a solution of the point when it's initially at rest. Since it's initially at rest, so here our t is equal to 0. So our t is equal to 0. So our t is 0 in this question and we have to differentiate it one time. And in next question number 4, we have to find the distance by a point along a line in t second is given in the meter that is x equal to t square plus 40. So what we have to find? We have to find the initial velocity that is a when the time is equal to 0, when your time equal to 0 and uh, when we have to find velocity after 2 second then put t equal to 2. And uh, for third, uh, the velocity, uh, the average velocity after the first two seconds, we have to find v average, that is a uh, v initial and velocity after two seconds and term divided by two, that is a v initial plus v final divided by two, that is the average. I'm going to solve this question right now. So now I'm solving this question number four, that is a uh, exercise 4.1. We have given x equal to t square plus 40. We have to find initial velocity. So for initial velocity, we know that the time is zero. So putting t equal to zero after differentiating this. So applying the derivative of v, that is the dx by dt. So when you apply derivative of t, so you know derivative of t square is 2t and derivative of 4t, 4 is a constant. So it will out from here. So it is a 4 into 1. And uh, uh, we know that velocity is 2t plus 4. So we will put t equal to 0 in this equation number 1 for our initial velocity. So we have initial velocity is 4 meter per second. Now for velocity after 2 seconds. Now for velocity. After 2 seconds. We have to put t equal to 2. So v equal to 2 into 2 plus 4. This is 4 plus 4. So we can write this that is our v is equal to 8 meter per second this is v final we may say it is our v final after 2 seconds so for v average for the average velocity so for average velocity we know that v average is equal to v initial plus v final by 2 so we have v initial that is a 4 and we have v final that is a 8 and uh, dividing by 2. So we have its average that is a 12 by 2 that is a 6 meter per second. This is our v average. Therefore we can say that the initial velocity of that is uh, when t is 0 is 4 meter per second and the velocity after 2 seconds is 8 meter per second and the average velocity that we found out that is a 6 meter per second. So it completes your question. Now for question number 5, 
The distance x meters gone by a body in t second is given by x equal to t cube minus 6 t square plus 4 t. We have to find the same as its initial velocity. We have to find its velocity after 2 seconds and we have to find its position after 2 seconds. So students, it's, it's question 5 and question 2 and 3 will be in your homework. You have to solve this question and uh, I am also sending this in your Google Classroom and you may uh, check the, uh, these questions over there and uh, uh, kindly submit this, this question at its earliest. Thank you so much.